children of indenture. What will we tell our children when they ask, is it normal for a man to kill his partner? How do we address domestic violence against Indo-Caribbean women? The headline reads, man kills wife, girlfriend, or fiance. The article is then followed by episodes of abuse, relatives addressing anger and jealousy within the relationship, and ultimately a night gone tragically wrong. The victim more often than not was separated from her partner and began to envision a new life. Every incident is unique and cannot be painted with a singular brush, but similarities are frightening. Life is taken and the previous wounds are reopened, the cycle continues. Why are women killed by their partners? One of the easiest excuses is to blame it on alcohol. This narrative does not hold men accountable for their actions. It rather excuses men as irrational, irresponsible because they were under the influence. Accusations of infidelity and jealousy also arise, focusing on the deceased and not the killer's actions. There are no acceptable excuses. Looking at intimate partner abuse historically can shed light on relationships today, girls and women. Women are often stereotyped in music and culture as being money-driven. Kanchan's Give Me Paisa describes Indian women as gold diggers, and this sentiment is echoed throughout the culture. But why were women so concerned with money in the eyes of men? Is it because after leaving Hindustan, they were earning money for the first time and held multiple roles? working woman, mother, and wife, and had multiple responsibilities such as childcare and housework. Women did not leave the plantation to go to a local rum shop. They went back to the Kuli barracks to mind children, cook and clean. They used their money to support their families. Indo-Caribbean women today have excelled in almost every profession, including prime minister. Our journey started in pre-partition India we left our motherland and crossed the Kalapani, the Black Water, via indenture ships to the Caribbean. Indo-Caribbean people call several countries in the Caribbean home, including Guyana, Trinidad, Suriname, and Jamaica, among others. Many Indo-Caribbean people also migrated to the US, UK, and Canada. Their journey from the Caribbean to the Northern Hemisphere was challenging for many, and included paper marriages, family sponsorships, backtrack migration, and more often than not, women took on the burden of child rearing, child separation, working laborious jobs to make ends meet. Boy meets girl. During indentureship, there was a disproportionate number of Indian women migrants. The first ship to British Guyana, there were 14 women, 11 girls, and 400 men. 12.5% of the indentured people were female. Previously, the slave ships were 35 to 40 percent female. Eventually, the indentured ships had a quota of 29 percent. The fierce competition among men created unimaginable scenarios for migrants. Women and girls lived with multiple men and were responsible for cleaning, cooking, among other things. This arrangement was present throughout the Indian diaspora, from British Guyana to Fiji. On Jahaji ships, indentured servants were encouraged to get married before landing because of the scarcity of women. On plantations, there was an alarming number of Indian wife murders. However, the supporters for Indian indentureship, the British officials, blamed the Indian people, specifically the women. Instead of the system of exploitation and inequality, women were additionally paid less than their counterparts. Indian women were blamed for their immoral lifestyles of living with multiple men in the Kuli Barak. However, this was the initial intention of the system. One woman for every 10 men for washing and cleaning. Now, the colonizers thought it would be more cost effective to bring migrants than to encourage Indians to marry and procreate. Additionally, European overseers and managers would have Indian women live with them. Women had few options. If they resisted, they could suffer severe punishment beatings, loss of wages, or jail. This further added to the disproportion of the available women for men, diaspora. Before, indi before indentureship, 
Parents would choose partners for their children, and most girls were married between the ages of 10 and 14. Women were covered and were typically in the home, often separated from men. Living in Porta, female seclusion, a popular custom then in Northern India. Women being seen as suspicious or untrustworthy is a common theme throughout history. Eve with Adam, Caesar with Ram, and migrant Indian women were no exception. In the Caribbean, they were a minority that held a new role, wage earners. They were not confined to their dwellings like in Perda. They were visible in plantation life and essential to the indentureship system. Patri patriarchal norms were ingrained in India, Europe, and the Caribbean. Women were harassed, molested, and deprived of food on indenture ships. Crew members would use biscuits as a bargaining tool for sexual exchange. Women were blamed for taking the bait. Men were not for, nour for malnourishment or for being deceptive. Women were murdered on plantations by partners. Then blamed for being murdered, murderers were punished but re received communal empathy from men, both white and Indian. Some women lost their lives for rejecting men's advances, either staying with their partner or remaining single. Indian women found newfound freedom in the Caribbean, but the freedom was deadly. Ho and cutlass were used to plow the earth and often weaponized against women. In the days of indenture, the government tried to intervene in domestic disputes regarding jealous spouses by transferring them to other plantations and men who killed their partners typically received the death penalty by hanging. Often, men who kill their partners would also commit suicide, escaping punishment by the law. Killing a partner and then committing suicide is still done throughout the diaspora today, most recently in the case of Donna DeJoy, public versus private. I come to show you what police can do. Fill the airwaves in my family's gray Cadillac growing up lyrics normalizing domestic abuse. The singer plays the role of the police officer and seeks revenge against the violent abuser, not because he's an abuser, but because he taunts the police with, what the hell a police gun do? The officer doesn't take the side of the abused, the abused woman. He's wary of women himself, because I know what women can do. Today, police in Guyana complete mandatory domestic violence training. However, there are reports of police accepting bribes from perpetrators. This was stated in the U.S. Department of State report in 2018. Yeah. Additionally, women in Guyana get paid 61% less than men for equal work. During the indenture, Indian women were paid 33% less. Indian men pay, were paid one shilling, and women were paid two-thirds of a shilling. In New York, women are paid 12% less than men. Whispers of wife beating and intimate partner abuse ran rampant in my family, both sides. Often, alcohol was blamed rather than the abusers and gossip often included somebody sweet man and sweet woman. Women who were abused never called the police. The neighbors did. When the cops arrived, they were rushed away by the abused woman denying the incident or a husband paying a bribe. Parents of indo caribbean youth. What is courtship today in the Indo-Caribbean community? For many, it's secrecy. Most Guyanese girls I knew were not allowed to have boys call their homes in the 90s. They used phone cards, sneaked out the house, and became master liars about their whereabouts. I often had to cover for my Guyanese friends and create grand stories to keep their parents ignorant. My friends who lived in secrecy would also go out of their way not to get caught. When living a double life, some girls engaged in risky behavior. They dated older men, drink underage, cut school excessively, lie about school and college, steal money from their parents, and so on. Controlling boyfriends often preferred girls who were lock, on lock and key. Girls who had strict parents were scared to leave their boyfriends for fear that they would tell their parents. This led some to stay in abusive relationships for fear of retaliation. Fast forward today, how much has changed? Are children fully transparent about their relationships? Do teens get relationship advice from their parents? Are parents aware of their children's friends and social media accounts? Next steps, amalgamate. Knowledge is power. Knowing our stories gives us roots and resources give us wings to fly. 
We cannot change our history, but we can look at our shared stories and be reflective of our words and actions to prevent violence against women and girls. Domestic violence and intimate partner killings are universal. It is not innately Indian or Caribbean. How do we create a safer society for women, girls, and boys? How do we model love first parenting and respectful discourse about sexuality and dating? Trying. We have to do better because lives are at risk. We need intergenerational conversations about violence and healthy relationships. We need to make it clear what is and is not acceptable. It's a responsibility to model healthy relationships for everyone. We should know who our children are friends with, who they're dating, and be available for advice. Now let's stop this. We need to stop victim blaming. We are conditioned to question the victim's actions rather than the killer. If a partner is jealous or fears infidelity, they are not granted absolute power. We, women are not property. Women have rights over their lives and bodies. Being married or dating a person is not ownership, it's a partnership. Stop giving killers excuses. If a person becomes drunk, they are accountable for their actions. The killer was not a victim of alcohol. Richmond Hill and the surrounding area is densely populated with liquor stores, bars, clubs, lounges, and restaurants. There is no denying the local community has lots of access to alcohol. Alcoholism is a problem that needs to be addressed, but it is not a scapegoat for murder. Don't ignore women and girls cry for help. Read the writing on the wall. Offer, a, offer help to a person in need. Share resources and offer assistance readily available. Do not turn a blind eye to someone who needs help. Let's start here. Encourage our children to say no. At a very young age, parents direct our children to hug and kiss every friend or relative that comes their way. Instead, ask them, do you want to? And if they shrug and say, no, that's okay. Forcing them to hug and kiss everyone could develop issues in the future. Teaching children to say no to unwanted touching is a valuable life lesson. Boys and girls could easily be coerced by adults and older children and feel like they have to do what they say. Let kids know they have choices. Share our experience growing up with your children, especially related to dating and courtship. Humanizing yourself to your own children allows them to feel comfortable to ask questions about dating and friendship. Discuss online safety with your children. Teaching healthy and safe tech habits by practice is key for kids. Discuss social media, text messaging, online dating with your children before giving them a phone, computer, or tablet. Without proper training, children could exchange compromising photos, videos, and personal information, putting their safety at risk as well as the rest of your family. Speak to trained therapists and counselors for help. Mental health in the Indo-Caribbean and South Asian communities is widely stigmatized. We need to change that. In the past, we were not given space or allowed to discuss personal feelings without being ostracized. Therapy is not a weakness, but a strength. When they ask, is it normal for a man to kill his partner? We as a community say collectively and loudly, no. There is much work to be done against domestic violence. Let's take our outrage and our anger into action. We have rights over our lives and bodies and our moment is now. Thank you so much for watching this video. For similar content, please subscribe.